We're going to look at the add method for a double link list. Now the main difference between a linked list and a double link list is there's not just a head, but there's also a tail. And when your list is empty, ignore oatmeal down there, but when your list is empty, head and tail are both null. And we're going to look at adding the first element. So we'll just add oatmeal in first. So definitely we need to make a new node. And what we need to then do is point head to that node and also point tail to that node. Now oatmeal has a, head, uh, a previous and a next. There is no previous and no next node. So those are both null, they're pointing nowhere. All right, so that's how to add to an empty double link list. Now let's add to a non-empty double link list. So here's a non-empty double link list. Now if we want to add after oatmeal, so this could, uh, could be done by using a certain index bigger than oatmeal. So how do we do that? Well, we need to make obviously a new node. Let's see what breakfast food we're supposed to put in. All right, strawberries, how could I forget? All right, so what needs to change? Well, tail needs to change. Also, this arrow needs to change. So there's a few modifications we need to make. So we'll first cross out that. Uh, so tail is going to be the new node. This only is true if you're adding at the end. We'll do a middle add later. All right, what else? Well, the previous node or the node at the old index, you're going to have to modify that arrow and strawberries previous needs to be the one that was there before what used tail used to point to. Okay, so let's add when there's one element. Now let's think of the situation when there's two elements, neither of which are the head or the tail. So I want to add, so we have a previous and a next. And of course, oatmeal previous points to nothing. Strawberry next points to nothing. Those are both null. And I want to add another node. And let's go burger. So make a new node. And I want to add burger in between oatmeal and strawberries. So how are we going to do this? So I recommend you set current equal to either the node before or the node after. Uh, I actually recommend before because there's no guarantee there's a node after. You might be trying to add to the end, and in which case there's no node afterwards. So I strongly recommend you set current to be the node in the position before the position you want to add. And you can just use the get node very similar to the regular link list to get the, uh, the node at a certain index. And so now we have current is the previous node. What do we need to do to add in burger? All right, we have a few arrows to switch around. Uh, basically, there are those two arrows right there. Uh, and burger is going to have arrows as well. All right, so burger previous. Burger previous needs to point to current. Burger next needs to point to current, what current next points to. So burger next is going to point here to strawberries. Now we have to modify these two arrows as well. All right, so how do they get modified? Well, current next is this arrow. So I want to set current next instead of being what it is. I want to set current next equal to the new node that we just built. So it'll point right there. And then the one afterwards, which was current next, and now I just realized we had a problem because if you, if you do the order I just suggested, you won't be able to use this anymore. So what we're going to do instead, all right, this should make your head hurt a little bit. So I want to set the back node first. So it'll be current dot next dot previous. Current dot next dot previous equals. So current, current, next, previous is that right there. Equals, this is our new node down there. 
I'll just call it new node. I don't need to have syntax here. It just equals new node. Okay. So that just reset the current next previous this to point here. Now, finally, we can deal with that arrow. So how do we do that? That's just current next equals, and this one will just be the new node. So that'll get crossed out and it will point down here instead. And then we have both our forward backwards arrows on each side of our new node. Uh, and you will have to be careful if you're adding at the head or at the tail. So for example, if my new node is over here, I'd have to modify tail to point to my new node. So just be careful adding at the beginning and end can uh, is slightly different than adding in the middle. And of course, if I add at the beginning, then head's gonna get modified. Uh, and I really do recommend uh, use this current to point to the node that uh, before where you're going to add. Uh, I already talked about remove, and for remove, I think I had set current to be the node you wanted to remove. Whereas before in the single link list, our current had to be the node before the one we wanted to remove.